What's going on, everybody? It's Childish. We're back at it again. It's finally time to get some Guild War play with our newest Nat 5, Chow, the Water Dragon out here. Um, I was pretty, if you guys saw the actual summoning session, I was actually really kind of cringing because when I snuck in that look to try to see what it was, I honestly thought it was a Leo, but when Chow came through, I was pretty excited uh, considering one of the recent you know, updates that I had really made Chow one of the better Dragonites out there. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about him, you know, how I have him ruined and whatnot here to kind of give you guys my perspective on it. And then we're going to get into some Guild War action where we try to use Chow every single fight if we can here. So um, let's take a look at him real quick. Um, Water Dragonite, right? First skill here. We got Dragon's Mind being able to do uh, continuous damage if you land a critical hit. Um, we have Justice here, similar to Laika here, being able to do a good amount of damage um, on this particular skill. And this goes up according to the number of dead lives you have. And then we got the passive here, Flow, that's going to be able to uh, stay invulnerable to HP recovery effects and then recover 15% HP at the end of the turn. In addition to that, just when you thought that heal aspect was enough, they added a mechanic that allows you to do even more damage uh, according to the current HP. So uh, without question, this is definitely one of the uh, really, really good bruisers out there um, when it comes to you know overall damage and tankiness here. And because of like how his kind of passive works and some of the things that are coming into play, um, I really feel like that hybrid fashion is the way to go here. So um, I am, I'm, I, I said it in my other, uh in my in my message here um the current rooms that i'm have i'm pretty fortunate like i'm a little you know upset on the inside but honestly i can't really get mad considering uh, i think i pulled one rune off of somebody and and was able to switch it with something that was still comparable outside of that these were literally five runes that were sitting around uh not you know being utilized on anybody here so we were super fortunate enough to get it on a violent wheel set don't look at this room too hard this this is pretty bad a violent wheel set we're going attack crit uh, damage HP um, but here's the deal um, with regards to attack or damage HP I don't want to uh, say you know that is going to be the best way to build it um, he's one of those guys where uh, he's definitely going to shine on a violent set um, considering that his second skill uh, is uh, every two turns when it is maxed out and the damage multipliers on it is really second to none in comparison to most of the bruises out there what what can be done not just from the skill originally but what can be added when you know units in your in your lined up there die um, and then of course this skill is obviously going to do some great damage as well um, so you know having a violence on it is going to just allow you to cycle through those skills here um, considering how the passive works being able to heal with that 50 percent the violence that if it does proc here not only will you get that just a skill up quite you know quite frequently but you're going to have that little bit of a heal mechanic helping you out keeping your chow alive um, as long as possible here. So that kind of goes to show why people offer the, uh, you know, obviously go for the violent set uh, versus any other set here. Um, when it comes to subsets though, my favorite two subsets are definitely going to be Will and Nemesis. So obviously um, I was really happy that I got Will on because, you know, he's generally somebody that we're going to build, you know, pretty tanky, do some damage, but, you know, generally speaking, you're not going to see a ton of super fast chows out there. You're going to be giving away the first turn quite a bit here. So if you're going to be able to, if you're got to do that then sometimes having that uh, will aspect especially when you're talking about guild war you know offense or rta you know if you're giving up the first turn you know having a will can definitely prevent you from some nasty things that are becoming your way um but i really really like nemesis considering how um his passive works you know the sooner he gets that turn the sooner he has an opportunity to heal and and so you know if he's getting targeted and he's taking a lot of damage uh, the nemesis is gonna definitely, definitely gonna help him back and give him back so uh, get him back to square one so that he can get those attacks in and potentially get lucky with some violent procs and get those heals you know relatively quickly here um so but finishing off on this on this front here we have the the, the thing that obviously a lot of people are going to talk about here right i'm going to attack or damage attack but what is optimal okay um, this is a guy, it's one of the few units out there that has an H, HP scaling mechanic and the attack scaling mechanic. Um, when I think about uh, the overall possibilities of what this skill can do, um, I think that over time you might be able to see um, uh, quite a bit of damage being done on the attack scaling format, um, especially if you're pairing it in a, in a composition that allows you to take advantage of like attack buff and whatnot. But, um, and more uh, more times than not here, you're going to be put in situations where you're not going to have a lot of things that you can rely on. And I feel like Chow is probably one of the better units out there that 
can do exceptionally well damage while still remaining, uh, still uh, being able to stay alive and, and, and keeping that tank in it. So um, I took a look at some of the numbers that people sent my way and try to did some, you know, try to kind of make some guesstimations on it. Um, you know, HP, crit damage HP versus attack crit damage HP. Again, I think it comes down to stats over sets. Um, but uh, I think he is one of those units that because of this little bonus that he has, right, the HP uh, scaling aspect here, he still can provide a good amount of damage even though he's not directly uh, adding like an attack rune or whatnot. And again, if you are fortunate enough to get some um, some really good uh, substats on these, you can make up for that, you know, 63% attack in your other slots here. So it could definitely happen. Um, from what I got recommended, if you can have upwards of like uh, 1200 attack or like plus 500, plus 600 attack there, um, in addition to the critical rate, critical damage, and run HP, crit damage, HP, um, that might be the best bang for you because of the simple fact that um, he can do a ton of damage. And then obviously the HP that you're going to be getting is going to assist with his heal and as well as the increased uh, HP scaling damage that comes out of that passive. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Obviously, there's a ton of ways to build it. And again, while I say I like HP, HP crit damage, HP versus attack crit damage, HP, it all comes down to stats. You may find yourself in a situation similar to what I did where I didn't even plan on doing defense critical damage HP on like an Ethna, but it just so happened that these particular runes combined together with what I'm trying to do with the with the compositions that I'm trying to create on the RTA side and the Guild War offensive side, like she does exactly what I need her to do, um, and, it, and it works out super super well here. Same thing for Chow. Uh, I'm gonna be key, I'm gonna be playing around with his runes. I do want to try to get about 20 more speed, 20 to 25 more speed on him, about 6k. 6k or so more HP and then obviously if I can get a little bit more attack, you know, critical damage, I'm good with it. Critical rate, I'm pretty good with it right now. Um, but still, um, considering that these are all like broken runes, uh, let's uh, let's just hope that I, I feel I feel pretty confident in, in what I'm bringing. And so we're going to test them out today and see uh, what we can do. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. Anything that I left out that you wanted to have any questions on, please feel free to put it in the comment section down below. And as always, anybody out there that's been uh, doing it big with Chow for quite some time, shout out to Karanther. I know he's not watching this video, but he's one of the old school Chow users out there. If you want to put out your feedback here, um, definitely do so. I'm looking forward to hearing your comments on that. So uh, let's finally get into the match here. We got Sem now. We fight them quite a bit here. Um, so let's go ahead and we got a couple yellow bars here. Let's start out downtown with the lowest one here. It looks like he's running predominantly a double element composition here with Perna being on the right side. I feel like he'll be a fun one to, uh, you know, to mess around with, uh, with regards to Chow. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and bring we can bring Kamun. can we do Kamun here i think we could do Kamun here let's go Kamun. let's go orion and we can go chow here so this is in this particular situation we're going to try uh chow with no attack buff so you can kind of see the damage that he's doing um you know right then and there and then up top we'll probably want to bring uh, Chilling just just smells amazing right now. Chilling's gonna be able to steal all these buffs. You guys know I can't get enough of Ethna um, in this particular situation here. So maybe what I'll do is I'll stack the crap out of Ethna here. Just let her tank that Rakan all day. I'll keep on stealing the buffs from Rakan, and then we'll try to focus down uh, the other units since we don't want Rakan, you know, counterattacking all day. So, um, but yeah, let's go ahead and test it out. Hopefully. Uh, Hopefully everything goes to plan. Um, with regards to Chow, obviously if uh, things get a little out of whack, we'll try to save him so that we can use him in other compositions here. Um, all right, so I probably think that this Wusa is gonna go. No, it's not gonna go. So let me go ahead and take, I'm gonna take this buff here. And I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that now we can go ahead and strip. <clears throat> I'm thinking here, I wanted to go ahead and strip um, I wanted to go ahead and strip Rakan, but uh, I think I'm going to wait for Chilling to do his stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and strip... Let's go ahead and strip Usa right now. It looks like he's not actually that as tanky as I thought he would be. Um, but I feel like I feel like Ethna is going to be in a, in a better situation than not where we can where we can uh, take that Usa out pretty quickly. Um, we're definitely going to steal these buffs here if we can. We have that uh, counterattack that we're going to deal with. So I think my game plan here is to go ahead and... Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Rip. Um, <laughs> so here's the thing. I think, I think my Ethna's gonna go first, right? 
So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and steal these buffs. Or sorry, let's go ahead and buff up. Let's try to get this. Let's try to get this this unit down. Okay, wasn't able to get down, but that's okay. We'll, we'll take it out right now. Um, now let's go ahead and steal Chasun's buffs here. We want to keep that wheel on as long as possible. Let's go ahead and rebuff here, and now we'll we'll kind of work our way down. Again, situations like this, I still see people out there um, trying to trying to go ahead and like say, hey, you know, the Rakan is the biggest threat. Like, so let's let's do it. Let's go for him. Um, and while I'm gonna be working him down with regards to chilling here, um, I still feel like for me and, and Chasun, you know, do, seeing what Chasun to do, seeing what Chasun can do um, with their Fallen Blossom uh, and other, you know, HP. You know, base units here is super, super strong. So, uh, you know, if I if I have a scenario where I have a very, very tanky uh, ethnet that can take a hit here, and I will be able to kind of keep this uh, Rakan away from from going ham, um, I might as well just keep on working on it. So let's go ahead and put that attack break here. Um, it's funny. I just I just made this argument about not going for Rakan, but what if we actually got lucky, and what if we crit enough to take him out? Like, would this would this, would this be the time? Oh my god, this is the no it's not the time. No it's not the time. Oh my god. Ugh, rip the dream. Okay. So we'll still have we'll still have this uh, uh buffs to come up here. Let's go ahead and defense break. I think his collapse is down. Or his collapse is up, so he's not gonna be able to use collapse on me if I go for him. As you can see right there, um he was able to Oh no, his collapse was down, so I think this attack break should be able to kill him. And now we can go ahead and auto it out here. So um, you know, with respect to the recent uh, videos or, or streams that we've been doing, guys, uh, if you guys haven't seen before, um, we are going to be doing streams uh, a little bit more frequently. We're kind of looking at right now a Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday possibility from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. It all depends on what happens with regards to this job that I may be getting or like this promotion that I may be getting within work. Um, it might open the it might open my schedule up to have a little bit more time in the morning. If not, we'll be looking at that at that later time here. So. Uh, let's go ahead and work down this uh, Perna here. Now, this is Justice here. Eight, I got attack or damage, HP, no attack buff, 31k damage. Of course, Perna has, um, Perna is, uh, you know, she's a relatively squishy monster when it comes to her defense here. The effect of HP, the mechanic of her passive is pretty strong. Um, but, uh, um, you know, she's uh, she's one of those monsters that makes your monsters look good because they she has such a low uh, look, such a low HP here. We're using Commune to tank it up here. So I'm going to go ahead and have Orion put that defense break on so we can get this uh, Perna out the way. And now we'll go ahead and focus on more than likely Kamun as his passive shields um, are just kind of a pain to no end. But we'll have to see what uh, Orion does for us when, with respect to the defense breaks here. I may, in fact, go for uh, Annabelle if I get the proper defense break, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen, so let's go ahead and try to get a couple hits here. Um, go ahead and, again, try to cycle through this main skill. Um, the good thing about it is is that um, because we have everybody we have everybody focusing down Kamun, we're not going to have any sleeps um, uh, or anything of that sort on, on Chow here. Let's go ahead and do this. And I was hoping for a defense break, or sorry, I was hoping for a violent proc, but didn't get it. So you can probably cycle through these skills. Now Chow must might be able to do the second skill to take it out. Uh, super, super close, but I think this attack bar manipulation will give Kamun the amount of attack bar that I need to do it. Uh, nice, oh, super close, super close. A um, couple more procs, there we go, there we go. All right, so finish it out. Um, again, so far so good. Uh, for those that you know didn't see, or maybe you skipped the beginning part here, we're looking at about uh, we're looking at about 1,300 attack, uh, 130 critical damage, sitting at 30k HP before um, any HP uh, towers are coming to play. So probably we're sitting at around uh, like between the HP you know Guild War towers and the Arena towers, probably sitting around like 35k HP. I'm sure I could do the math if I look at the passive. To see what you know the 50 percent is that i'm getting but i think it's right around that matter so uh let's see let's move on up let's move on up here let's go ahead and let's have some fun here let's try to cleave it out um if we have if we have our shield wheel we have is this one a shield wheel okay so this one actually it's funny i didn't even look at the speed but my chow is slow enough um to get this done and so what we'll do is we'll bring in Shige. 
and this will give us the opportunity to do a defense break with the attack buff we'll take advantage of that we, we might as well we might as well get selfish here and stack the uh stack the defense here and then down below what do we want to do down below we have you know alternatively here we have two fire wind based monsters here uh i think you know bringing some kind of fire based monsters could obviously do us some good uh, i'm thinking i'm thinking let's go we haven't played around in trevor with a trevor in a very long time here he really shines on um you know having the shielding from a kamoon here so if he does get targeted then we'll we'll have some fun with that um, but obviously we are very heavily reliant on some violent procs here um, all right we're gonna go for it obviously um we already have it's this early early in the week here we're not concerned about uh not being able to take these guys out or anything like that we do we do just fine here so even though we're gonna be attacking somebody that you should be attacking when you're the guildies attacking we're going for it um please don't oh yeah go for chow all day yeah chow can take it chow can take it okay so now who do we want to go for well i guess it all depends on who shige leaves us it looks like there's no nemesis set on anybody i think we were able to take out rakuni nice so let's go ahead and hit kamun here we got the attack we got the defense break Let's see what we got going on. 29k. So what that tells me is that that commune is really, really built tanky considering, um, you know, the uh, damage that we did. And you guys just saw with Perna, we were doing 30k, but only 29k. And we did have the attack buff on it. Like that could just tell you right then and there that that commune was super tanky. And rightfully so. Uh, you know, with respect to um, how, you know, they should be built, you know, super fast, super tanky or super HP. But... Uh, I my my uh, Kamun actually has a good amount of defense. I think 1,400 defense. So so um, anything to keep it alive, so it can constantly providing that shield here. Let's go ahead and use that first skill. I am totally down with uh, working this Perna down, even though Orion is is not the unit that you want to leave want to leave hanging. Um, I, I feel like my RNG from Orion is always going to set them back. So uh, ooh, we got an opening here. We got an opening here. Uh, let's go ahead and try to take uh, Ritesh down to low health so that he forces himself to heal versus provide that defense, uh, versus provide like the uh, AoE defense. And uh, if Kamun's going to follow through here, we might be able to take it out. No, we didn't. I think we did correct. We just didn't do enough damage here. So now that Ritesh is down, and let's go ahead and get the tons of violent procs that we deserve when we keep our Orion on the violent set here. I love this game, right? So again, there's the <laughs> there's more violent rocks. Can't get enough of it. He can't be stopped. That should be it. Boom, boom. 13k. Welcome to the Trevor Show. Um, Trevor's super, super fun. Uh, you guys saw that I do have mine built on a violent set, and um, uh, even though I think it shines way better on a vampire set, the the thing that makes everybody cringe. Uh, that follows me on uh, the YouTube and Twitch side of things is that my vampire sets are being used by Leica, by my Kung Fu Girls, by other uh, units that I rely heavily on with regards to PvE comps, uh, most notably R5 when it comes to the KFGs. So um, obviously once I get a few more runes, I'm definitely going to try to switch them out on the vampire set. Um, I think my Leo has a vampire set, but it's not as strong. It doesn't have as good as effective HP as I do on this set on Trevor here. So I'll show it real quick. Um, so Trevor, and Trevor right now, I, I like it, it's sitting almost 11k, uh, 1100 defense, so we got the 1700 uh, attack, and then we got the 20k HP, really not too bad overall, obviously the speed is horrific, but let's not, uh, let's not judge that, um, we got Leo here, again, he's on a bruiser set, kind of almost similar stats to uh, what Chow's rocking, but, uh, you know, a little bit slower HP here. Uh, I don't even think the runes are all upgraded. Um, look at this one. This one's not even finished, so I got a little bit of work to improve it. I may uh, take this set and then bring it on over to, um, bring it over to, uh, what's it called? Sorry, Trevor, but then I'm, I, obviously I got to do some work here to try to get, you know, I want to try to get that revenge set if I can. If not, I'm, I'm down with the vampire set, so... Um, as you can see, though, his defense is super low, so I really need to kind of make up for that on the substats here. But overall, uh, not too bad, not too bad. So um, let's see. Let's go back to the Guild Wars. We got one more sword here. Um, we got a couple of yellow bars knocked out. Let's see. We got a yellow bar up here, this highest one. Um, can we take advantage of this one? 
I'm thinking we're going to let this Ethna try to try to stop one of our water base units here. As much as I want to bring two damage healer in, like it's all about Chow today. So let's try to stack him up. Uh, this is not really a little bit more of a YOLO approach since we don't have, we do have this shield and we have this heal, but let's just see how lucky we can get with RNG and try to just snipe some of these uh, units out right then and there. Wow, I don't know what's going on here. Somebody's, uh, they're not, I mean, it can't be stream sniper because I'm not streaming right now, but everybody that I'm trying to tag, they're trying to tag here, so. Um, we should get the first turn, but considering how this team has it built, um, that Ethna is screaming uh, super, super fast. And you guys saw that here. She is pushing upwards of uh, 290, 295 speed. So pretty darn nice, if you ask me. Um, it's really nice because if people are trying to cleave it, you know, that Ethna can, you know, strip, uh, stun the uh, Galen here. So really, really nice indeed. Probably didn't need to do the uh, the second skill. We probably could have knocked it up with the first, but we're not going to take any chances here. Uh, if I recall correctly, that was 42k damage there on the Theo. So really, really nice. We're going to let Orion uh, try to get it done here. Uh, didn't... I'm sorry. Orion should be able to get it done, maybe. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Of course, we have to deal with a... Uh, we have to deal with a stun. Maybe we'll get the lucky violent proc. Boom, boom. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> here we go, here we go. So just trying to proc these skills here, trying to get the attack break on Ethna. We do. Unfortunately, Ethna is not only fast, but on a despair set here, but it doesn't even matter because we are getting additional turns like crazy here. So maybe we can get our own stun on Ethna. Nope, it's not going to happen. Um, let's go ahead and buff up and let's see if Chow's going to be able to cut through and take out that, uh, take out that uh, Kamun here. He is opened up and there's no shield, so, okay, 31k, still not enough. Um, that is all good, that is all good. So I'm gonna try to put that attack break on. I don't want Ethna to go ahead and uh, take it out here. Notice that this guy also is running a, he's also running a uh, Despair Kamun, which is actually what I like to do. So a lot of RNG here that he's bringing. Uh, I'm really big fan of that. Uh, wow, we did not get one glancing on the Ethna, so. Let's see if this is enough to get it done. It is, so I think we can auto it out here. Uh, yeah, buddy. So interesting, you know, interesting situation here. We noticed that, you know, we did a ton of damage early on without the uh, without the attack break, but we couldn't really um, pinpoint out uh, what we, you know, where we're kind of at right now because of the fact that we had the, the unit that we did have the attack break and the defense or attack buff and the defense break on um, was really really tanky. It was that Kamu, and we didn't do as much damage um, as we did on that Perna here, but. Um, so far, so good. I'm obviously, again, looking forward to uh, improving it here. Uh, let's see what goes on here. We're probably going to get the defense break uh, from the counterattack on Shige, and then maybe Feng Yang will go for him. Uh, as long as Pung Beck can follow through, uh, we can try to take out this Feng Yang. Uh, we're going to have to tank that Perna quite a bit here, but that's okay. Uh, oh, ne never mind. I did not see that defense break. I did not see it. Uh-oh, rip. Let's see. Oh shoot, oh shoot. All right, we're gonna stop right there because it's on a shield wheel. There's no way I'm gonna out do a violent Orion or a swift Orion with a violent Perna here. So uh, M12 tab, you got the best of me there. So that's unfortunate. But either way, guys, again, we were just testing out Chow here um, with regards to his current setup, with regards to his runes and stuff like that. So uh, pretty excited about it considering how you know much of a Leica user I am. You know, having that new skill uh, do the same thing as Leica did, um, you know, really almost motivates me to really uh, tune up Chow even more. Um, having that kind of burst damage DPS is going to be nice when I'm uh, considering, uh, you know, incorporating that into some RTA formats or whatnot. Um, obviously, his mechanic on the heal, the HP scaling, is really going to help out for some of those long fights in the siege offense or siege defense, um, you know, uh, considering I might use it there. Um, pretty hyped up about it. Again, uh, I'm on the Violent Will, but I'm going to be looking to go either Violent Will or Violent Nemesis. Uh, try to get his HP you know, up there in the plus, you know, 24, 25k. Uh, you know, get a little bit more speed, plus 25, plus 30. And then if I can squeeze in some more attack, critical rate, critical damage, I will. But overall, I'm pretty happy with these stats here. I prefer uh, the hybrid build um, so that you can... You know, stay along and, and last long here, but you can also still put out a good amount of damage because because of the, that fact of the HP scaling mechanic here on this uh, first go here. So again, guys, that's going to be it. Thank you all so much for tuning in for this long-winded video talking about Chow. I know, right? But if you guys do enjoy it, please feel free to smash the like button, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Take care.